Good morning, Soaring Eagles. Today is Monday, February 3rd, 2021. Welcome back to the 105th day of the school year. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stand for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. You may be seated. Celebrating birthdays today, we have Griffin and Mrs. McMahon's class, Rollin and Mrs. Williams' class, Tazanin and Miss Lamont's class, Nathan and Miss Lamont's class, and Grace and Mrs. Anderson's class. Have a great birthday. For lunch today, we will have Frito pie or yogurt combo or Italian salad, served with pinto beans, cucumber slices with ranch, fresh apple or fruit cocktail. For breakfast tomorrow, we will have cinnamon roll or cereal and Nutri-Grain bar, served with fruit juice and milk. And now a message from Mrs. Pettis. The Young Masters Art Show will be virtual this year, and teachers will select four pieces of artwork and will be scanning them. More details will come in an email soon. Students, don't forget that this is a library book checkout week, so please return those library books, bring them back on your library day, and then we will come around and pick them up if you just leave them outside your classroom door in the morning. Thank you. Third through fifth grade students, just a reminder that the Blue Bonnet voting link is within your library class and Seesaw. So if you are able to vote at home through Seesaw, go ahead and do that. You have another week to do this, so don't worry about doing it today. Um, I'll explain more in your library class if I have not already. If you do not have access to Seesaw at home, then you can vote here at the library computers. Thank you. The high today is 73. The low is 56, and we will have partly cloudy skies throughout the day. And now for the fun fact of the day. Airbags inflate at a rate of 200 miles per hour. And now for the thought of the day. Sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. Lewis Carroll. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Wellness Wednesday. So today I want to do a little reflection activity with you. I want you to think about if you were to leave Encino Park today, if today was your very last day at Encino Park, maybe you're moving or you're changing schools, something happens and this is your last day here. How would people remember you? I want you to really think about what I just asked. How would people remember you? How would your teachers remember you? How would your friends remember you? How would your peers and your classmates remember you? I want you to really think about that because Mrs. Adams and I have gotten a lot of visitors lately from the little ones all the way up to fifth grade who have been really upset and sad because of the mean and ugly things that people have been doing to them and saying to them. And it breaks my heart because we are constantly talking to you guys about how to be kind, how to be inclusive, how to love each other, and how to be respectful to one another. Even if you don't like somebody or you don't get along with them, you still owe it to them to be respectful. And we talk about this all the time. So it really is heartbreaking for us to have so many kids coming in hurt and sad because of the way other people are treating them. So think about that. Think about if you were to leave, would you be remembered as somebody who was kind and had a big heart and made everybody feel special and confident? Or would you be remembered as somebody who was mean 
and hurtful and maybe not nice, would people be glad that you left or would people be really sad that you left? How do you want to be remembered? Because I will tell you guys that even I'm almost 35 years old and I can still remember from a long time ago, kids that were in third, fourth, fifth grade who were mean to me and said ugly things to me. And I remember their names and I remember what they said. And that was a long time ago. So that stuff sticks with you forever. So think about that when you are choosing to treat somebody a certain way. I want you to stop and really pause and think about, is that really how you want people to see you or not? Okay. And I'm going to leave you with a quote that I love. Some kids are smarter than you. Some kids have cooler clothes than you. Some kids are better at sports than you. It doesn't matter. You have your thing too. Be the kid who can get along. Be the kid who is generous. Be the kid who is happy for other people. Be the kid who does the right thing. Be the nice kid. It's not hard, guys. Kindness and spreading love and making people feel good about themselves, it is not hard to do. It actually takes more effort to be mean and ugly than it does to be nice and kind. All right, so think about that, reflect on it today, and maybe think about how you might need to make some changes. All right, guys, happy Wednesday. I'll see you next week. Happy National Read Aloud Day. To celebrate this holiday, I've put some brand new books into every teacher's mailbox. These are books that you guys can keep in your classroom collection. I invite everybody to read aloud today or to watch some authors reading their books out loud. Have fun. Today, we will have early dismissal at 1255. Have a great Wednesday, Soaring Eagles.